analysis in relation to what is happening in Europe. Thank you, Deputy Crow. Uh, Deputy Keaveney. Thanks, Chairperson. Um, I kind of agree with Deputy Dirk in, in, in one context. Uh, it is as a consequence of a previous government's ineptitude, fiscal mismanagement, a weakness of democracy in, in this country, uh, that the debts of private banks were socialized into a sovereign debt. from the European institutions who forced this debt onto the shoulders of ordinary Irish people. And people would critically analyse that if we never guaranteed uh, the sovereign debt of private, if essentially the gambler's debts of, of private banks, if we never guaranteed the debts of the banks, what would the consequences have been for the broader European uh, banking system. Um, there's no doubt that there was, um, we are culpable to a certain extent um, to the current financial domestic crisis that we are in. There's also no doubt that our arm was twisted on a, a night in September uh, up in the um, Department of Finance by officials in Europe particularly from the ECB, to prevent a contagion across. So we, we got a unique, we got a unique, um, we got a unique response from Europe. And we got a special response from, from the ECB. And uh, that, that results in an expectation that that would be acknowledged. Uh, we shouldn't have had taken on the debts of some of those private banks. In particular, a bank called Anglo-Irish Bank. It wasn't systemic to the Irish economy. It was an exclusive bank, and the ECB essentially forced us to uh, enter an arrangement that would cost the Irish Exchequer somewhere in the region of 80 billion euro for a bank that meant nothing to ordinary people. Um, so there is an expectation. We are culpable to a certain extent that we let it happen and that we didn't revolt and we didn't resist. We didn't organize against this. Um, but it was done in justice. The agreement was made behind closed doors without the consent of Irish people. Parliament were forced into a sovereign guarantee on private banks. Gamblers gambled with the future of young Irish people and their hopes and their futures for a sustainable future within, within, within this country. And that's the problem, and it's, I'm sure that that replicates itself across, across the community. Uh, particularly on the periphery, where this money came from somewhere. As somebody has said already, most likely from German and French banks. And uh, essentially, we have taken a liability in order to secure the future viability of um, German and French financial institutions. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Deputy. Uh, Mr. Cassini.